Date me. It's probably very rare to receive such a disrespectful confession. But I, Kuan Shidoyama, was receiving the first love confession of his life, so he couldn't do anything. This is unusual. I can't believe you're asking me a favor. More guys have been trying to ask me out recently. Oh, you did have your beauty pageant. This girl's name is Hina Toyama. She's my childhood friend. As you can see from her cold stare, she has a pretty harsh personality. It's unfair that she's this pretty despite all of that. Hold on. Her beauty might be the cause of her horrible personality. I'm going to punch you, you know. She has such a cute name despite it all, too. She does win awards and pageants and is super popular because of that beauty, though. Still, she must have it hard because of that. So yeah, be in a relationship with me. Basically, you want to use me to ward off other guys? Who cares? It's not like you're going to date anyone else in the future anyway. Oh, she makes me want to punch her. But if I date you, I'm going to receive death glares from every corner. Do you think that has anything to do with me? Outrageous always, aren't you? So that's that. We're going to have a meeting to plan this at my house. She's so aggressive that she brings a guy over to her house right after they start dating. Oh, won't it be a problem if I was submissive with this personality? There is such a thing called gap in this world, though. I can't go against Hina for some reason. I wonder why. Is it because we're childhood friends? So? If we're going to be a pretend couple, should we... There should be a time limit, right? And now we change locations to Hina's house. I hadn't been here since becoming a high schooler. We were now playing Jenga to pass the time. I guess two months should be good enough for now. Most of the boys should be uninterested by then. Okay. But there's one thing I want you to be careful about. Huh? I wonder what it is. She seems unusually serious now. My parents absolutely can't find out that we're dating, okay? Hmm, I don't understand even more. And why is that? I've never dated anyone before, right? Oh, you always turned everyone down because you never found someone you were interested in, right? Because of that, my parents think that I'm unpopular. Oh. They've been super worried lately that I'm never going to date or get married. Her parents have put on a terrible image of her while I haven't seen them in a while. If they see me together with you, they're definitely going to cry. Then why does she decide to plan this out at her house? I didn't want anyone to hear us, and no one's home. Why can't she understand the voices in my head? Childhood friends are so scary. I mean, I guess we should be fine for now then. I don't remember saying yes, but I guess we're going through with it. Who cares? Even if it's for a short period of time, you get to date someone this cute. Hmm. It's your personality. Hina-chan, I'm home! Mommy went to her dinner plans on the wrong day. It was at that moment. Oh. Oh. Hina's energetic mother came into the room. Oh. Hina, Johnny, come on, Coon. Oh. Hold on, you're so quick to make misunderstandings. Hina disappeared, chasing after her mother who ran out of the room. It's not like you caught us doing anything, right? You're making hasty assumptions. But you never invited Kuan Kun to the house after you became a high schooler, right, Hina-chan? Uh, 
Whatever mommy asked you, you said, Yeah, yeah, I'll bring him over when he becomes my boyfriend. Huh? Wow, she dug herself a perfect grave. A anyway, it's a misunderstanding. Kuan and I aren't... I mean, we might be like that, but you're wrong! Come on, come on, you don't have to be so embarrassed. Your daddy's so happy too. The information spread around in an instant. Guess we're having to celebrate red bean rice tonight. I was amusing myself with Jenga alone when Hina finally came back into the room. We can't break up now. Oh, it seems like she wasn't able to clear up the misunderstanding. Even though she must have taken almost an hour. They're already thinking about our children's names. This is weird. I'm supposed to be the victim too, but I was feeling immense sympathy for her. We have to change our plans now. I'll convince my parents somehow, so you have to continue until then. Can't you just tell them we broke up or show them how incompatible we are? They should be convinced quickly. Oh, but if we do that, she wouldn't be able to do the I have a man thing she wanted to. There's no way my parents can be convinced in two months. How much do her parents think she'll never find a man? Ultimately, our relationship started with a certain end date. We showed off that we were dating in school, but didn't interfere in each other's lives the moment we stepped outside. After that, if Hina's parents saw us together, it would be impossible to convince them. Goodness. I got dragged into a messy situation. Still, she said that she would introduce me to a girl once this ends, so I have to do my best. I have to, but... Gosh, she really got dragged into a messy situation. Hey, hey, what do you mean you're dating the Ice Princess, huh, man? Did you finally get past the childhood friend stage, huh? Hey, which one do you prefer? Brass knuckles or a spiked bat? Is this exchange really worth risking my life for? So things like that have been happening a lot recently. Oh, I see. Here, open wide. Even if you're feeding me, your stare is so cold that it's hard to be happy. Alright, time passed and it was now our lunch break. In order to show that we were in a relationship, I was being fed emotionlessly by a beautiful girl. Oh, by the way, are we walking home together starting today? Yeah, I find it annoying, but we have to pretend on our way home too. Annoying. But if we'll split ways when we get near the houses, I have to convince my parents that I'm not dating an unpopular loser. Unpopular? But once we pass the school gates... Oh, you're going home together? You're so lovey-dovey! We got caught. I want to cry. I want to cry too. Why does his mother pop up whenever we don't want her to? It's essential to clear up the misunderstanding so Hina can introduce me to a girl. This was an awful situation. Whatever the cost, I had to come up with an explanation. Um, ma'am? Oh, you're calling me mom already? I didn't say that. That reminds me, here you go. As she said that, Hina's mom gave us two tickets. They were tickets for... A cat cafe? You've always liked cats since you were little, right? I got a discount ticket, so you two should go together. I'm so thankful for her I could cry. But you never liked animals, right, Hina? I don't understand why, though. Those creatures are so adorable. But this was a pair ticket, so we had to go together. Hmm. What should I do? Oh... The following day. Kitty! I quickly headed to the cat cafe. 
Look at this. All these adorable kitties. Amazing, right? Adorable, right? It's kind of smelly, but they're so cute they don't even care about the smell. Come, kitty kitty. Who's an adorable baby, hmm? God, pure bliss. I could die right now. Gosh, what's so good about this, anyway? On the other hand, he didn't look like a queen that cats obeyed. I haven't seen her outside of her school uniform in a while, but she really is pretty on the outside. What are you saying? They're so cute! You've never said that to me, though. Hmm? Did you say something? Anyway, this is so unusual. But you don't like places like this, right? But she came all this way for me. What's gotten into her? I feel bad a little bit, too. For what? For dragging you around. But it's not fair if I don't do things that you want to do, too, right? Oh. She shows a nice side like this sometimes, which I think isn't fair. That's probably why I can't go against her. My childhood friend really was a troublesome girl. By the way, Kuan. What's up? What kind of girls are your type? That was such a sudden question. And this is kind of uncomfortable to say, but a girl with a nice body. If it's so hard to say, you should have hesitated. It's not my fault. Those are my true feelings. <laughs> As she said that, she looked down at her body. You don't need to check, Hina. You have a nice body. What about you? What's your type? Guys that are obedient. She was more like an ice queen than an ice princess. Yay. That's a joke, but... Honestly, guys that I'm comfortable being around. Hmm. Hmm. That's true. How well you get along does play a big deal. Even if a guy was Hina's type in appearances, she would get tired of being around him and wasn't comfortable. What's on the inside matters more than the outside. Something like that. But can you really find someone like that? She was so cold that she was called a nice princess. Uh, I'm sure there were a bunch of people she didn't exactly like. That's why I've never been in a relationship. Makes a lot of sense. So? What should we do now? I can go with you if there's somewhere you want to go. After we had a pretty productive time, we walked around the streets aimlessly without anywhere to go. Let's see. Maybe I'll have you follow me around to shop then. Okay. Leave the underwear decision to me. I'm going to punch you. That's weird. I was trying to be a dependable man. After a while, we arrived at a batting cage with nowhere to shop. Huh? What about your shopping? I changed my mind. I could go shopping with my friends if I wanted to. So I wanted to choose a place that I've been wanting to go to but can't with my friends. I see. So anyway, it's a challenge. Whoever gets the most hits on the target wins. Okay, what does a loser have to do? They have to be a slave for one day. You're on! Hey! Those two over there are crazy! Yeah, they've only been hitting the target. Even an actual baseball player can't control the ball that well. Man, that was a good challenge. A little while later... We both ran out of balls and successfully ended the game. Yeah, yeah. It was a wonderful competition where both of us advantageously held up our own size. Especially in the end. You lost, though. Damn it. One last ball. If I can at least hit this one last ball. 
Kuan, you're a hundred years too early to try to win against me. How can this woman hit the target 19 out of 20 times? But thinking about it now, maybe we can quit the punishment game. Oh? Is this kindness, I see? I never would have thought that Hina had such kindness inside of her heart. I mean, you've always been my slave anyway. Someone hand me some brass knuckles. I thought I could turn the tables this time around. <laughs> Stupid. Hina happily laughed as she said that. The way she is now, I rarely see her like this in school. All right, the weekend ended and we were back at school. Toyama-san is pretty as always. But I've never seen her smile, you know? The Ice Princess was below freezing point like she always was. She should just laugh like she did yesterday. I couldn't help but think things like that as I watched her from afar. <sighs> this is so boring. More unpleasant gazes on me again. Disgusting stares of people who only see me for my looks. There's been a lot more of those ever since the school festival's beauty pageant. It hasn't been bad since Kuan and I started pretend dating, but... But it's still a lot. I should have attended an all-girls school. Anyway, where did that guy go? I was going to talk to him since I got to school early. Goodness, doesn't he know that we're date? Oh, wait, oh, why am I being so unreasonably attached? We only need to show off that we're dating to other people. Why was I looking for him when I don't need to be? As I was thinking that, I found Kwan looking at me from afar. I decided to use my hand to wave over to him. I think you should smile more, Hina. Very rude first words. It's not my fault. Life is just boring. I can't retaliate. I mean, there's nothing fun about lectures in school. And those stares. I wish I'd received stares like that from the opposite gender. Even if it's just once. Th that's... Hey... If you're going to start off like that, say it clearly. That's impossible you're unpopular. I know, damn it. Uh, it's so fun to mess with Kuan. <laughs> Who cares? You're dating me right now, right? Temporarily. And like, you should just laugh like that. Huh? You're way cuter when you're laughing, not when you're angry. That reminds me, I can laugh naturally whenever I'm with Kuan. For good reason. Hina has been staring at me for a while. Goodness, did you finally realize that my handsome face was always in front of you? Being handsome is such a crime. Unfortunately, you're like 39%. You can at least give me that one extra point. But still... My childhood friend is so pretty. Even if it's just temporary, I might be blessed for being able to date such a pretty girl. Being pretty is a crime too. Seriously. I couldn't make fun of her for it, even if I wanted to. Speaking of, how have things been like at school recently? Nothing interesting. I mean, there are fewer weird stares or confessions compared to before. I guess there was something gained from being made the human scapegoat. It seems to have had an influence on her school life, and I think the effects of the beauty pageant will wear off in about two months. But... I still haven't convinced my parents. At present, her family was the problem. Recently, they've been bringing up my wedding during dinner. Oh? They're already talking about a wedding to their high school daughter? That's... my condolences? Her blank gaze makes me... I don't know. It was painful beyond description. 
Well, I mean, I'm starting to not care about it recently. Huh? I'm just gonna ask, what do you think of me? What does that mean? Let's see, what do you think of my looks? I see. I like it a lot and think it's wonderful. Then what about my personality? Hmm, you are a bit intense, but I have fun being around you. Besides, you're an old and trusted friend. I don't hate you, I think. I see. Hmm? Why is she suddenly asking me that? I tilted my head in confusion at the sudden question. That was when... Should we actually start dating then? Why? I couldn't help but be surprised at her statement. What's the matter with you, princess? I mean, I've been thinking about it a lot recently, and I don't think I could find someone who'd be more fun to be around than you. You don't seem like you hate it, so I was thinking that we could actually be a couple. Hold on! Look at my face. Are you sure you're okay with that, Miss Beautiful? Well, your face is below average, but... I want to punch her. But I don't think appearances are everything, you know. Does she think that because people only see her for her looks? I mean, if you ask me if I want to be in a relationship with Hina, I've managed it and I'm fully prepared, but... I haven't decided on our kids' names yet. Are you stupid? I don't know how big her wedding should be either. You're being influenced by my parents. She lightly punched my head. Ouch. I mean, I understand that you're feeling positive about the idea. That was barely the right move, though. It's like that nowadays, isn't it? Did you want me to say it while blushing on top of a Ferris wheel instead? Oh, God. I can't imagine her doing that at all. So, that's that. Here. As Hina said that, she blushed and held out her hand. We didn't even hold hands while we were pretending to be a couple. Y yeah I hesitantly grabbed her hand. We've been walking home a lot recently, but for some reason, it felt different this time around. W well, I guess it's obvious. After all, we just became a real couple. Aww, aww, you're holding hands! So lovey-dovey! We were caught. Are you two on your way home? Are you coming over? Um, we haven't made plans like that at the moment. Then this old lady shouldn't interfere at all. It's hopeless. She's not listening at all. Should I be positive and happy about the fact that your parents aren't against you getting married to me in the future? I'll tell you this now, but I didn't say we should date because I couldn't convince my parents, you know. It makes me happy to hear that at least. Thanks. Well, there's a possibility that my parents might react the same way. I'll sacrifice myself too if that happens. Man, what a dependable girlfriend. <laughs>